Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. In the last video, I showed you how to set up your Star Wars machine for sewing. Now let's move into embroidery. First thing I'm going to do is attach the embroidery attachment to the machine. So turn the power off slide this so you can see it a little bit better. If you have this free arm on there, just take this tray off right now. I showed you this before, but there's a lever right here. This is how you remove this. So first of all, you just slide it into place, and then when you're ready to remove it, there will be an icon on the screen that you touch, and then you'll pull that lever. But for now, we're going to leave it attached. Before I turn the power on, though, I need to change the foot. I'm going to remove the J foot, or whatever foot you have on there, and there's a screw on the side here. I'm just going to unscrew that, and the shank will fall off. I'm going to attach the embroidery foot. Turn the power back on. This is the icon to bring up the embroidery. From here, you can take designs from a USB stick, from your machine that you've saved. This is the icon when it's time to remove your hoop. You have fonts. These are shapes, which are great for making an applique, which we'll do at the end. And then there's some built-in designs. And everything is touch screen. You choose a design. You can keep scrolling through the designs by touching the arrows. If you don't like any of those, you click this back button and it'll take you back to the screen. I'm just going to pick one of these designs. When I click set, I have options to move the design. I could also just touch the screen and move it, whichever one is easiest for you. Click OK. You can rotate. And it will only allow you to rotate what will fit on the screen. You can mirror image. Change the colors. And if you don't like that design, just click delete and you can start over. If you haven't already downloaded the Star Wars designs that came with the machine, go ahead and do that and put it on a USB stick. Place the USB stick in the side of the machine. Click here to retrieve those files. I have mine saved in a Star Wars folder. And to scroll through the designs, use the arrow button. Choose one of the designs, it will bring it up and click set, and you'll see the design here on the screen. I can rotate this whichever way I want to embroider it in my hoop. And click OK. You have the option to change thread colors if you'd like. What does it look like, purple or yellow? If you don't like any of those, you can click reset and it will take you back to what the previous color was. Click OK, Edit End. You still have the options to move your design up or down depending where you want it in the hoop. And this button here will make it go right back to the center. I have my embroidery threads. This is my hoop. If I wanted to add a few different things into the embroidery, this is a good guide. You place this on top and it helps you to position your designs. But for now, I'm just embroidering one thing. Your machine came with a pre-wound bobbin, but if you don't want to use that, you can wind your own. So I did, and I've used, I'm going to use black in the bottom. So let's talk about embroidery stabilizer and what type you should choose. Now, this is a really big category, but I'm just going to give you the basics. There's a medium weight and a heavy weight tearaway. These are very common. So what this is, is once you have your design in the hoop, your stabilizer will go behind your fabric, and when you're finished embroidering, you tear it away. Thus, tear away. You might also see a type that's cut away. That means you have to cut around your design. Another stabilizer is a medium weight adhesive, which means that there's sticky on it. <laughs> this is, you'd hoop this by itself and then you would float the fabric. So one side feels like the paper, the tear away that we had, and the other side is sticky. Okay, here's a medium weight fusible cutaway. This presses, you can kind of see the shiny backing on this. 
you will press this to the fabric. They both become one and you hoop those together. There's a lightweight water soluble. This actually will rinse away. After you embroider your design, you rinse it off with hot water and it disappears. Great for making lace. And those are just a few types of embroidery stabilizer. As you get going, you'll want to keep adding one or two of these to your collection and test it with different fabrics. I have a lot of videos to show you how to use these different stabilizers, but let's just start with the basics. I'm just using a piece of cotton fabric for my design to go on, and then I've cut a piece of medium weight tearaway stabilizer. You want to cut these just a little bit bigger than your hoop. How much? I usually give myself a good two inches all the way around. You just want to make sure there's room to tighten these. Let me show you how. First thing you want to do is unscrew this just a little bit so you can pop the top out. Lay this flat. Put your embroidery stabilizer down first. Next, place your fabric on top. And basically, I'm centering this See, I'm centering it around my hoop. And then go ahead and just push this down tight. Now you don't want little wrinkles like this. I don't know how well you can see that, but just make this, what you do is you just pull the fabric just gently all the way around until it's nice and tight. You don't want any bumps or wrinkles in the center. So pull your stab stabilizer a little bit and just maneuver your fabric. So that feels pretty good. Check the back, push this a little tighter, and then go ahead and tighten this screw back up. The first color I'm gonna embroider is green. So I'm gonna change my thread color, refer back to my last video if you need help setting the bobbin and threading your machine. To place the embroidery hoop, you'll see two knobs right here. These will click on to these two sections right here. Make sure your presser foot's in the up position. You can lift it up if you need help getting through if you've got too much fabric. And just lift this up and push it in place. Put your presser foot down. And once the green button goes on, you just touch this. Stitch about three or four stitches and then click stop. And I'm going to go in and trim that excess thread. And we're finished. Click OK. Make sure your presser foot is up, and then press this in to pop your hoop right back out. And our design is finished. Lastly, I'm gonna go back and trim these threads that were in between some of these letters. And our design is finished. You could have embroidered this right onto a garment, a jean jacket, a towel, whatever you want. But I just put this on a piece of fabric, so I'm gonna turn it into, I could either make it an applique, or how about a patch? And then I can attach it to something. Let's try an oval. Again, number two is the one with the satin stitches. We'll use that second. And number 10 is the one with just a straight stitch. Click set. Let's go ahead and make this as wide as we can. And let's make it as tall as we can. It should fill up the entire hoop. Click OK. Edit end. And again, let's check the placement. The bottom left is fine. It looks like we'll just be on the edge of that ear. It might be close to the ear, but I'm going to give it a go. Click embroidery. Put pedal down and go ahead and start stitching. And it looks like I don't have anything to trim, so keep going. Now I have a choice. 
If I want to make a patch, I could trim along this line and embroider the satin stitches or go ahead and embroider the satin stitches around here, which that's what I'm going to do, and then just trim closely to the fabric. I'm just using a cotton fabric, but this is a great way to embroider on fleece or make a patch of any sort. So I'm going to place this back in here. So let's go back and pull up that same design, the oval, and this time we're going to stitch number two because you can see it has thicker satin stitches. This will create a nice edge and then we trim around it for our patch. We can make the same alterations to this pattern in size that we did with the last one. So make it as wide as we can and I think we made it as tall as we could. There we go. Click OK. Edit end. If you want to double check where everything goes on here, you can click this button here. Click the bottom corner and I can see approximately where that is on here to here. Let's see. Yep, that's right on place. Let's see the far right. And that looks good. Alright, so I'm going to click this here. I want to just check the edge of the circle with my design. Looks like that's good. And it's just on the outside of this circle, which is where it's supposed to be because it's satin stitches. That looks good. And that looks good. Okay. Click OK and embroidery. This says four minutes, one color change, and let's go ahead and put our presser foot down and stitch. To come around the back of the machine so you could see you'd be in the front doing this but push this back lift up and it pops right out of place and there you go so the embroidery is finished this is the back side you can unscrew this just a little bit and it should just pop right out there you go now if this was embroidered right onto something, a jacket or a towel or a blanket, you would just go to the back side and pull away, tear away, I should say, just tear away the stabilizer around the design. I'm going to leave all of the stabilizer inside of here because we're using it for a patch. Now to make this a patch, I'm just going to trim very closely to the stitching edge, but not through it. And your patch is ready to sew on. Again, if you were worried about the fabric underneath showing through with your fabric, you could choose the same color satin stitches as the fabric. I purposely did this in contrasting colors so you could see the steps. But another thing would be is after you did that first row of stitches, trim the fabric off and then do the satin stitches. So there's a few ways. But at least this will get you started. And that's the basics of embroidering on your Star Wars machine. It came with a booklet. There's quite a few photos in here of all the stitches, all the embroidery designs. I think you're going to have fun with this one. Leave me, Leave me a comment below if you have any questions, if I can help in any way. I have a lot of videos to teach more embroidery techniques. For more sewing tips and tutorials, visit AngelaWolf.com and BrotherSews.com. Until next time, happy sewing.